In this video, we're going to look at the binomial probability distribution. We're going to be using a calculator to answer the questions. So let me show you the modes on the calculator we're going to be using. So to find the binomial probability distribution, we press menu and then it says seven, number seven. So the looks like a normal distribution. So um, menu seven. And then you'll see binomial probability distribution as number four here. And if you click down, there's also binomial cumulative distribution, which we're going to use for some of the questions as well. Um, let's look at this question. So we've got the probability of winning a tennis match is 0 0.71. So that's our probability. And we want to find the probability of winning four out of five in total matches. So the binomial probability distribution, number four, and it's two for variable. So X is how many events we're looking at. So how many matches we're gonna win in this case. So if we wanted the probability of winning one match, we'd enter one. We want the probability of winning four matches so we're going to put 4 and press equals. N is how many events there are in total. So there are, it's out of 5 matches. So we're going to press 5. So 4 out of 5. And P is the probability of winning each time. And that is 0 0.71. And we'll press equals and equals again. And that tells us the answer. So the probability of winning four out of five matches is 0 0.368 to three significant figures. Okay, here we've got some different notation. So we've got the same sort of question, but we've got to know what this notation means. So we've got X, then the squiggly line, and the squiggly line means is distributed and then the B means binomial. So we've got the binomial distribution. And the first number is N. So how many trials there are? There are five trials. And the success, the probability, the chance of success each time is 0 0.3. And we want to know the probability of two successes. So we're going to go to the menu. And seven again. It's a binomial PD probability distribution question, and we're going to go for the variable. So X. X is how many successes we want, which is two. N is how many trials there are, which is five. And P is the chance of success each time, which is 0 0.3 going to click equals and equals again and that tells us the chance of having two successes is 0 0.3087 and there's our answer okay here we've got a different type of question this time we're going to use the binomial cumulative distribution function so we've got x is distributed binomially there are 15 trials and the probability of success each time is 0 0.52 find the probability that x is less than or equal to 10 so we want to know the probability of everything up to and including 10 so it could be no successes one success two success three successes and so on so instead of working out each of those individually, we can use the cumulative function. So we're going to press menu and seven again. We're going to scroll down this time to binomial CD and variable, so number two. So X is the number we're looking at and that is 10. So it's everything up to and including 10 the cumulative so everything up to and including 
n is the number of trials, which is 15, and p, the chance of success each time, 0 0.52. Click equals and equals again, and there's our answer. So 0 0.920 0 to three significant figures. If we wanted to work out the chance of 11 or more, we could do one minus this answer. Okay, here's a slightly different question where we're going to use the cumulative function again. So x is distributed binomially and we've got five trials and the chance of success each time is 0 0.3. We want to know the probability that x is bigger or equal to 3. So we haven't got a way of working out bigger or equal to 3, but we can work out 2 or less and do 1 minus the answer. So there can either be 0 successes, 1 success, 2 successes, 3 successes, 4 successes, or 5 successes. If we want 3 or more, we can do that by working out 2 or less and taking it away from 1 because all the probabilities should add up to one whole. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work out the two or less and do one minus the answer. So we're going to menu seven down to binomial cumulative distribution and two for variable. So we're gonna have our X as two. So we're gonna work out the probability of two or less successes. N is five, and the probability of success is 0 0.3. I'm gonna click equals twice. So the probability of two or less is 0 0.83692. And I'm gonna to go to the normal function, so menu one, and do one minus answer. So the chance of getting three or more successes is 0 0.163 to three significant figures. Okay, here's another question. So the probability of a train being late is 0 0.1. Find the probability of the train being late two or more times in seven days. So again, because this is an or more question, we're going to work out the other side and then take it away from one. So instead of working out two or more times, we're going to work out one or less times, one or fewer times, and do one minus the answer. So again, we're looking at menu seven. Uh, we'll, look, we'll look at the cumulative function. We could have very easily looked at the probability function, worked out zero times and worked out one times, um, but that would have been an extra calculation. So it's always two for variable. So we're gonna have X as one. We're gonna work out one or less. The number of trials is seven, seven days. And the chance of success each time is 0 0.1. So the probability of being late one or zero times is 0 0.85. And if we go to our normal, so menu one, do one minus the answer, that gives us the chance of being late two or more times as 0 0.150 to three significant figures.